Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do sourdough artisan bread. My name is Miss Leslie and welcome to my class. We are going to start with 10 cups of flour and I've already measured this but basically it doesn't have to be measured exactly for bread. So this is 10 cups of flour and then we're going to add in a tablespoon and a half of sugar, a tablespoon and a half of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of yeast. So not too many ingredients. So it's really nice. And those are our dry ingredients. And I'm going to just mix that up just a little bit and get that all incorporated into the flour. And then we have three and a quarter cups of water. And this isn't just regular water. This is water that I've let sit out for about an hour because I want the chlorine in it to evaporate because the chlorine kind of interferes with the sourdough um, effect. And then if you want your bread to last a little bit longer, um, like I make three loaves at a time, add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that doesn't have to be exact, but just, you know, approximately. And then we're going to mix this, and it's only a minute and a half that you have to um, mix up the dough. And this is a stiff dough. This will get a little more wet as it sours. And um, you can let this bread sour for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. And I've let it go as long as four days before. Just keep in mind that um, about the two day mark is just perfect for anybody that is, or more, just perfect for anybody that's gluten sensitive. My family is gluten sensitive and this bread they can eat. So we make this bread a lot. Um, if you do the, you know, let it go for a day, it will rise a little more each day that you um, let it sour. It's going to be a little bit flatter. And I'll show you this. See, like it rises very well, but it's not like all fluffy like normal bread would be. So if you just let it go for 12 hours, then it's going to rise a little bit more. This has been three days. So, um, and this dough is just about ready and you can tell it's getting stiff. So I've washed my hands and I'm going to knead this by hand. And I, this is actually the container that I'm going to let it sit on the counter in. I'm just gonna keep kneading this. I love the smell of fresh, fresh bread. Um, when I was a little girl, my mom used to make bread. And when I'd come home from school, the house would smell amazing. And we'd all just be ravenous and we'd eat probably a couple of loaves of bread. Uh, keep in mind, I have seven siblings, so with eight kids, you can imagine. Um, it was delicious. And she used to make her own homemade strawberry jam. Mm. Wow. Okay, so this is just perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this out. And I'm going to add a little bit of um, olive oil to the bottom of it and a little bit on top. And that's just to keep it from sticking. Go ahead and put that on the bottom, a little bit on the top. And then I'm gonna let it sit on the counter for anywhere from a day to probably three days is good. So this is, I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like. The yeast, there's so little yeast that it takes time for the yeast to grow. So like after the first day, it's gonna maybe get half as tall and then it just get bigger. And then if you let it go even longer, it starts getting a little bit shorter. So we're going to, but if you like the sour taste, then hey, that's good. So I'm gonna oil my um, rolling surface 
And if you have a counter, you can roll it out on a counter. I'm using the um, bread board that the kitchen came with. And I like to oil it because flour is so messy. I just found I like to put a little oil on top, a little bit of oil on the bottom, and it works out just great. So I'm going to roll this dough out, and the reason why I'm rolling it out is because I don't want any um, bubbles in my bread dough. Because then that makes it so that it's um, harder to put like a nice jam on it or um, any other kind of thing you want to do. So this recipe makes three loaves. And what I'm going to do is I've rolled out all the dough. I'll lift this up so you can see. And I'm going to cut this into thirds and I'm going to then take each third and I'm going to roll it up and I'm going to put it into my bread pan. And the bread pan also, I'm going to put a little olive oil in the bottom so that it doesn't stick. So you see like this, I rolled it all up I'm going to tuck the ends under and um, put a little olive oil in the bottom of my bread pan. And, and I'm going to dip the top of the bread in first, kind of move it around, and then flip it like that. And then this rises for about two hours, and then you're going to cook it at 385 for 50 minutes. And you will get this beautiful loaf of bread. It's awesome. So you'll have three loaves. and. Um, usually what I do is take the other two and I put them in these bags. I get these at Smart and Final and they're 15 inch long bags. And then I freeze a couple and it tastes just about as good thawed from the freezer as it does. No, fresh is always better. Yeah. But anyways, it's always good to have bread on hand. Anyways, thank you for joining me. I'll post the recipe and have so much fun making bread. Bread is super awesome and this is a great, great recipe. So enjoy. I'll see you next time.